en la pan, siempre la pecho chico. Pichipo su va, pichipo su va, pichipo su va, pichipo su va. No, Torita, vieja, pino, es un dejo, güey. La es mami, tae, mami, tae, mami, tae, mami, tae, mami, tae. No, what a fan, what a fan. Yes, like mami. Oh, like papi. Ah, yes, but I think a lot of it is mami. So excited. So excited to be back home. Super excited. Um, I hope you're all doing well. Thank you just to everybody who has been just checking on me on Instagram, on YouTube, inboxes, emails. We have been doing all right. Just I'll get into that. Why have we been away? And baby Olivia is here. Look, my is here playing with mommy and excited to see mommy so um, we have been away from youtube Olivia. Mommy, Olivia, Olivia, Olivia. what are you looking for hmm? mm -hmm. would you carry my car in the name bandy yeah. so we have been away for about um six weeks and I would say the main reason why we have been away for six weeks the first week it was really because we were busy with uh, with moving because it was just a week after we moved and then from beginning of the September until today I have been pretty much away from home so I have been working away from home for more for about five weeks now. I go to work, I would say I go on a Monday and I usually get back home on a Friday if it is a very nice easy week and I'm lucky. Otherwise in most cases I come back home on a Friday, on a Saturday evening and then I have only a Sunday free. So because of that there was very little time left for me to spend with my family and I just didn't have I like I literally had one free day during the week. I just didn't want to separate that little time I had with Olivia and Alan. Also, inset YouTube there is something because YouTube is something that I usually do during my free time. So it has been difficult to navigate. I didn't want extra stress anymore. Stress enough being away from my baby the entire week. That's why I've been not here for a while but otherwise we are doing all right as you can see she's grown she's here curious about everything yeah we're still breastfeeding and i will also while we're here say a bit about how i've been managing being away from the baby um the good thing about um us is that since the baby was born, Ali was fully involved in helping with the baby and also is able to pay for the baby to bed during the evening when she wants to go to sleep. And when I'm away, he does that amazing, like I cannot even, I think he does it even better than me as a mom when, when I'm at home alone with Olivia, which is very rare. And yeah, when I'm away, literally Ali just makes sure that the baby is taken care of and we have also now always and our au pair is at home with us and is helping with Olivia during the day when Ali is working and Ali takes over uh, in the evening when he's done I take over on weekends when I would come back home and those were like I said only one day in a week so I just didn't want to use that little free time I had with the baby Lucy filming a YouTube video, although I do love YouTube, yes, absolutely love it, I love the community that I have and the support that I get from you guys, I love that, but sometimes it, it is uh, stressful, like, it's, you know, when we didn't have a baby, I would still do YouTube any, you know, every time, even if I had only one day free, but now with the baby, I also have to prioritize spending time with her, she's my newborn. Not newborn anymore, but she's still under six months. This is my baby. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
promising. Your baby is grown. I, I don't I want to hear from you know anybody who got a baby and has to go back to work uh, while their baby was still maybe within six months old and especially if you have to work away from home it's quite difficult. So usually I prefer to be here all the time and be consistent but those were really moments where I feel like okay. Now, I can't, I need to spend time with my baby when I have only one day free and one day that I come back home to see her, I would prefer, and I prefer to just spend that time with her. It was also very nice and private, I have to be honest, very nice and private, but I missed YouTube because I like it. Um, we have been on YouTube for a while and I still love the community that we have here, the support we get from you guys all the time. Yeah, what do you want? Oh, no, 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 mama's head, no. Yes. Now she's very excited and curious about everything. No, 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 stop, 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 stop. Yeah. That's so mm -hmm. mm -hmm. yeah. Oh, my hair is a mess. Awesome. Yeah, so I'm happy, but I think moving forward, moving forward. Yeah. Mama took you more kind of yeah. uh, Moving forward, I think we'll only be filming one video a week. It's just not possible anymore to do two or three videos a week. And it also now really depends on my working schedule because if I have a lot of work to do, then uh, Ali also has to help a lot with the baby and there's no time to to work on YouTube. So for those days if you see that a, a week goes by without a video, everything is fine. Maybe that we are busy with work. And when I come back home then I will film something if I am free and I'm hoping that October it's not like I'm going to be free but I'm hoping that October I am going to spend more time at home. You miss mommy? You miss mommy, you miss mommy. Yeah, mommy has got new hair, new hair. My goodness, where do you want to go? Where do you want to go? Baby. Mm -hmm. Bounce, 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 bounce. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, pretty much that was it. So and I promise we'll do a lot of uh, we'll do a lot of house stuff. But oh, it's been also a mess and quite stressful. Apart from work, we moved, and since we moved, we wanted to have a new kitchen. Uh, we thought that would happen in the first two weeks after moving, but we are here now, almost ah, oh, almost seven weeks without a kitchen. That has also been stressful, and we just don't have uh, a home that we like at the moment. But we are hoping that we have a, an appointment maybe in, in, in eight weeks we can get a kitchen and that will be a nice beginning and after that we can move on to work on other parts of the house. But Amar, would you like to eat a snack like a banana? Whoa, 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 do not scratch mommy, 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 but mommy, where have you been? Mommy, where have you been? So this is me and my baby. Today we're going to spend the whole get to know each other again. Get to know each other again. Do you miss mommy when she's away during the week? I think my concern when I go away is like when I come back she would forget about me but it has never happened. I would go on a Monday and come back on a Friday and she's still like just the moment I enter the house she's excited. She's coming towards me and she wants to play with me. So I think she's still know me as mommy and I love it and I love that. I mean it's difficult for a new mom to be at work and to spend um, you know if you have to work remotely like you have to go away from home the whole week and only come back during the weekend it's even more difficult but I am really grateful I know there are a lot of people who are going to kill me for this thinking so oh. So we have discovered how to unlock this No, 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 this is for safety. You don't need to open it. No, I need you. How can I distract you, good man? Yeah. Yeah, it's here. Yeah, 
Yeah, so while I've been away, Ali has been at home with baby Olivia, helping and making sure that she's taken care of. I'm back home, super happy, super excited also to spend more time with you. I'm hoping that moving forward, I have to spend a little bit more time at home. It just September has been very hectic. I just had a lot to do and we had to catch up on a lot of things that we missed during the lockdown. How did I manage to be away from my baby so long and while I'm still breastfeeding? Um, I would say any working mom who is watching this channel will tell you how difficult it is as a new mom to leave your child at home. Even if it's just for a day when you go at 8 in the morning and come back at 5 in the evening, it's very difficult. So when you go away for like 3, 4 days or 5 days at a conference, it's even very, 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 and it's very hard. But you know, uh, first week was obviously harder than the rest of the week, but after that I knew I only needed to survive that first week and then I would go through everything. And it's hard, but it's manageable. And I'm kind of used and confident that, you know, Ali's at home and is getting everything done and everything. Baby is going to be absolutely fine with Ali alone at home. Um, as a mom, who is still breastfeeding, I would say I'm really thankful that uh, I do, or oh, I practiced pumping from the beginning when she was born. So the time that I've been away, I would still pump all the time on a regular basis, even when I'm at conferences, like lunchtime, early in the morning before we start, and then later in the evening, so at the moment I'm only pumping three times, and have always um, ice pack or keep everything in the in a freezer in my car and that was absolutely fine so i would pump throughout the whole week and come back home on a friday milk is already frozen or if i'm only away for three days then uh, it's, i would still keep it like uh, in a fridge at four degrees that helped a lot because olivia has been we tried before i went back to work to give her formula meal and she was taking it actually when she was a baby she was taking it when she was a baby, probably, which is the main reason why I could not, uh, we were not able to breastfeed because I started initially with formula. But afterward, I went for three months continuously only giving breast milk in a bottle. And now, when I started working, I've been trying to kind of integrate formula milk. She just always spitting it out, and therefore, I'm still just pumping making sure that she has milk also when I'm away and I'm, and I'm very happy that I have a very very good pump because I don't know what I would do if I had to go away and then she's not taking part of milk and I don't have milk at home so there's milk always at home enough for her to go through the week and when I come back I bring more milk bags of course she's also eating solid now it's way easier and she does not consume as much as much she does not consume at the moment she does not consume as much milk as before because we are also eating solids like we eat nice lunch of the i don't know whatever period we have at home and then in the evening we also have dinner except in the morning we don't need breakfast in the morning she takes milk olivia where do you want to go should we go for a walk just say like mama where have you been where have you been come I would say that is uh, the, the very most important thing how I have been really able to work away from home with a, a baby under six months. Mainly, I make sure that every before I leave, I have milk at home. If you're feeding formula, I think it's not even an issue. So you just probably go. Uh, of course, there is a mental issue with your mom and your emotions and your thought always thinking about baby. But if you trust your partner, it should work also very well. It is hard. Ideally, women, I think back in the day, would say, no, I don't know which back in the day I'm talking about because my mom was also a working mom and I was born in the 80s. My mom was working also sometime night shift because she was a nurse and she had to, st uh, you know, I, we had to stay at home with her. Uh, with a nanny even from a very young age, I think back in the day they, in Namibia they would still up to now go back to work after three months. So I was also at home. I don't know when, I would assume that back in the day the ideal situation would be every new mom to stay at home for I don't know how long. But it's not always possible. Sometimes you just, as a mom, you have to work. 
there's also career and there's financial problem to be sorted. What are you looking for? She's now getting very naughty and looking for, what are you looking for? Mama, don't you miss mama? Mama, mama has got new hair. New hair. Olivia, Olivia. Uh, maybe, uh, maybe. Come on. Yeah, apart from that, I'm very excited to be back home. And I'm hoping that uh, moving forward, I'm going to spend, maybe October is not that uh, hectic. I don't have many conferences. I'll spend a little bit more time at home. And I think from now on, we'll be only releasing a video once a week until we start our Christmas holiday. If we have more time, then maybe we'll do two videos a week because during Christmas, you know, with grandparents, there's a lot happening and there's a lot of help. So maybe we'll do two videos a week then. Um, yeah, what else has been happening? House is not yet home. When we moved in here, we didn't have a kitchen and we thought in a two weeks time, we'll be able to order the our kitchen for my care. Mm kitchen for my IKEA and get it, get a new kitchen that we wanted, but it has not been possible. It's weird because we did a lot of kitchen planning with IKEA, but most of the time you do the planning, at the end of the planning you discover things are not available and cannot be ordered and cannot be delivered. So we've been just going back and forth. We finally did it last weekend, we put in an order and we're hoping in eight weeks we have a kitchen. Olivia, where do you want to go? Should we go for a walk after this? You want to go for a walk with Mama? Hmm? Or you just want to go to time time, play time? Hmm? What do you want to do? Anyway guys, that's pretty much it. That was a short video from me, a short update from me and baby Olivia. Otherwise, we are absolutely doing alright. Happy baby's grown, healthy. Also very thankful just to my partner. I, mean, I cannot, I don't know how it would have been for me. My goodness, I cannot. I have so much respect now for single mom. It's a baby alone, a single mom, I would assume that it's even 100 times more than uh, what we need to do as uh, two parents. But yeah, thankful that Ali's here pretty much 90% of the time I'm not at home on weekdays and he's here always holding everything down and making sure that, you know, he's always here making sure that Everything is in order, baby is taken care of, baby is loved, and you know Ali is like the most loving person. He's spoiled, he's fed, absolutely amazing. So with that, I would say thank you for watching. If you enjoy this, give us a like, subscribe to our channel. I still want to do a video about a few newborn items that I think are important, essential, and we used. I wanted to do this after I really tested the items. Olivia. No hands in the mouth. Oh, man. Get a teeth up. Because you're not taking a possible for it. No? No. Yeah, beautiful. Beautiful. And then maybe I'll release that next week or next weekend. Uh, everybody else, thank you so much for watching. See you in our next video. Daddy, ciao, ciao, ciao. Me and baby Olivia are going to go for a short work. We are bored. She's not used to sitting doing anything. Okay, now you throw that on the ground. I'm going to clean it.